Hi, welcome to Steve's Kitchen. We're gonna construct that Cuban sandwich. Now I've got that beautiful fresh Cuban bread that I made in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, click this link now and go back and see it if you want to. Otherwise, stick with me. We'll put the Cuban sandwich together right this minute. And if you've just joined me for making the bread, welcome. So I've got that beautiful homemade Cuban bread here, which is almost a sin to toast, it's so fresh. And I'm just gonna cut that open. The other ingredients I'm gonna be using, I've got some wonderful cold roasted pork, I've got a delicious off the bone ham here as well, and I've got some fantastic Swiss cheese. So first of all, I'm just going to butter both sides of my bread. Then I'm putting on some beautiful hot mustard. Put it on, I like it pretty strong, so I'm putting quite a bit of mustard on mine. So on top of the mustard, I'm gonna lay that ham. I'm gonna put it pretty thick, because this sandwich is for me. And then, on the ham, I'm gonna be popping my favorite dill pickles. Now, if you don't like pickles, you can leave them out, but I love them, so I'm popping them in there. Then I'm going to cover that over with our roast pork, cold roasted pork. And at this point, I'm gonna have a little seasoning, a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and over the top of that, I'm gonna put a lovely slice or two of a Swiss cheese. And then the lid goes on. Then I'm gonna pop that down on the panini press, lower down the lid, and we're going to let that cook. And that'll probably take about five minutes to toast through beautifully. Now, if you haven't got a panini press, Put your sandwich into a solid-based frying pan like this one, and then pop another frying pan on top, and just press down while that toasts off. And after a minute or so, you can just lift that off, flip the sandwich over, and do the other side. Okay, let's take this beauty out of here now. That's piping hot. Will you look at that? I'm gonna cut this one through. Okay, let's cut this through now and take a look at that sandwich. There you have it guys, there is my delicious Cuban sandwich. So there is my Cuban sandwich with fresh Cuban bread, which I just baked in the last video. If you wanna go back and look at that, please do. Uh, let's give this a try. That Cuban sandwich is just delicious. The Cuban bread, I think, is what makes this so good. The lard in there gives it such a great flavor. So Marcel, thank you for suggesting this to me. Guys, try this at home, you absolutely should. Comments down below, please give it the thumbs up to support the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. So whether you join me for the sandwich or the whole video, including the bread, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll leave some links up there. I'll leave the link back to the bread in case you missed it. Get across and view it. Thanks, Marcel. Thank you, everybody, for watching again. Be good. See you next time.